Hello, welcome to my channel. So lately I've been working with my kids on some projects just for fun. I'm asking for their ideas of things to make. And then in the end, I have them draw or color on the projects, just trying to get them involved in the process. And it's been really fun. And it's something that's allowing for them to care about the machining and the woodworking and gives them input. With this project, it was their idea to create a maple leaf box for their Nana and then color it on each side in the end. I use Fusion 360 for my 3D modeling, and this time I just used lines to create half the maple leaf and then mirrored that over. I uh, then went ahead and used the shell tool to shell out the inside and then copied that so I would have two of those pieces. In order to make the lip for the one half, I uh, extruded out the middle and then shelled that and cut away the bottom and that gave me the dimensions for the lip and I just extruded it all the way down to that other piece and then I did the heights that I wanted as far as my work piece went. With this project I'm using 3 quarter inch thick pine, just some scrap wood I had laying around and it worked really well. It does string a little bit and that's just because it's such a soft wood but the cleanup was somewhat easy. And as far as the, the shelling, I used a quarter inch shell on one of the pieces and a 0.23 inch shell on the other piece. And that's just to give it a little extra room to fit in. Uh, since it's two pieces and there's a little bit of a lip, I didn't want it to be too tight. So by doing a quarter inch on one and 0.23 on the other, it worked fine. Like I said, I really was just doing this project to get my kids interested in the machining and the woodworking. And they really do enjoy drawing on the projects after they're done and giving them as gifts to family members. And So if you're looking for a way to get kids interested in machining and woodworking, I suggest doing some kind of project where they get to put some art on it in the end and have a say in what you're creating in the first place.